Hey guys, this is Lord One Gaming back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. It seems that today is one of those days where there's lots of news, so I decided, you know what? Might as well let me tell you about them as soon as I get them, and obviously as soon as I am allowed to. So basically, the news that we have today, going after the Ice Golem and the Dark Hale part, guess what? We have something that honestly I was expecting because it was you know usually this is the way that they do them if, if we think about it what what's gonna happen next week well next week is gonna be two times ancients well guess what they do before the two times ancients obviously you're gonna do something so they can make us use all of our ancients well the event that's going to go on today is uh, not today sorry that's gonna go tomorrow is this tuesday july 19 let me move my big head out of the way this Tuesday, July 19, we're planning to launch a guaranteed champion event. Summon champions using Ancient Shards, but the event is active and you're guaranteed to... Let me move it. Get Ragash by your 150th Ancient Shard. Remember, if you do happen to summon Ragash before your 150th Ancient, you will your event will end. One thing I want you guys to bear in mind. If you're going to go for this champion, when you get on your 150th Ragash, your pity will not reset. Your mercy system will not go down to zero by getting him. If you pull any other legendaries in the meantime, or if you pull him before the 150th, you do get him. So let's have a look at the champion that uh, they are going to give out for free. So that's the new Skinwalker uh, legendary. People have already released some content on it, but you know, let's look at his kit uh, ourselves. So, A1 attacks one enemy, places a 60% increased defense buff on this champion for two turn. He's defense based, so that's that's really good. Then his A2 attacks all enemies, has a, after book, 100% chance of placing a decreased defense debuff on each enemy for two turns before attacking. That's really, really good. Also has a 100% chance of placing a stun debuff for one turn after attacking. Well, this is insane. Basically, he places the decrease. He can place the decrease defense himself, and after that, he can stun them. So honestly, I'm not sure how good is this is for arena, but for PVE content, this is this is insane. And uh, I haven't seen his multipliers, but I'm expecting this one to actually hit pretty pretty hard. Like if you think about it, you bring him. You don't need a decrease defense champion before him because he does it himself it, this is this is something like a herning this is how i see him you know he's mixed i'm quite sure you know he brings a decrease defense and he's gonna hit as well so this is a pretty pretty good one then let's see his a3 places a strength and buff 30 percent increased speed on all allies that's pretty good also plays a perfect uh veil buff on this champion for two turns honestly this one's on a further cooldown this skill screams to me i'm not how much i'm not sure how much arena i mean increased speed and strength and they're good together but usually if you want something like that in arena you want somebody that also boosts the turn meter so maybe as a ghost second team or something like that or a tanky person if not so far front i've read on his kit i would say hydra even though like you cannot stun them you increase uh decrease defense and increase speed plus strength and increase speed is extremely good strength and again is really good to have for hydra plus perfect veil on himself the only bad part is it's on a further cooldown he would have been a good mischief target otherwise mm, mm. let's see his passive though his passive at the start of each turn Places a perfect bail buff for one turn on the ally with the highest attack. Inflicts 20% more damage against targets whose defense is lower than this champion's defense. Okay, this changes everything. So basically, if we make sure that he always he's the one with the highest attack, he could always have the perfect bail on himself. However, you do not want to do that because he's defense based, but you can make somebody that can be your nuker be the mischief target by using this one because it's every turn not every round you know if you if you think about it every turn that means every time he gets a turn he can put a perfect veil so he might actually be pretty interesting to 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 go for so if you're sitting also uh increases ally defense in all battles so he has a good aura all battle 30 percent that that's pretty good honestly if you're debating about going for for this champion it it all depends on your uh your roster what do you think would his kit help you out somewhere would it would it help you out just in faction wars if it's gonna help you out just in faction wars then do not go for it if you think it's gonna help you out for arena yeah if you think it's gonna help you out for nuking on dungeons yes again on hydra i'm honestly really i was just i was i'm really thinking if i'm actually gonna go for him because he would help me in hydra like I, i'm not even i'm not even joking the, the thing is the only mischief targets that i have on my account are 
Oboro that I just recently built and Lord Chamfort. Well, guess what? He would also bring in, he would also bring increased speed and and strength for us. He could help me making the stun target. So it's not going to be him, the mischief target, but he can he can help me place that. And he would also bring me the decreased defense plus increased defense on himself when he does the A1. The way the the tricky thing would be though the fact that if he puts increased defense on himself every time he a wants, I want to have somebody that's a a increased defense. Otherwise, he changes the star the you know the mischief targeting by him having that extra buff of the increased defense. But yeah, anyway, I, I think I'm gonna think about it and maybe maybe I will go for him. I guess we're gonna see tomorrow because as if if I'm gonna go for him tomorrow, I'm gonna straight up pull my shards and. You know posted but this is gonna be it for the video guys that's a pretty exciting event to go for you know the guaranteed events usually are one of the best ones in my opinion because you know even though you might not get anything on the way you're guaranteed that one champion that you're going for and the reason why it's so good is you know the champion that you're gonna get any other event you do not know what you get or if you get anything so like I said, if you think Ragash is going to be good for it, definitely uh, good for your account. Definitely go for him. His kit seems pretty, pretty good. But this is going to be for this video today, guys. And see you in the next one. Peace, love, take care, everyone. Bye.